Hey y'all, so I'm going to do a quick little addendum to my beginner's guide video that I did a little while ago. Uh, in this one I'm going to focus on uh, some new tips and tricks and other questions that I got asked, uh, including some new stuff that we just added to the game that uh, might help uh, new players out a lot. So let's jump into a game here. Wait a second. Nice. Do a new character. Does this look like a we do? We dao? Sure. So one of the new things that we just added was uh, action quick slots, uh, as well as item action quick slots. And so to assign them, you can uh, right click on a quick slot. You can see a giant list of actions here that you can assign uh, the quick slots to. And this is just like the normal actions that you'd see through this uh, menu here, uh, which are context sensitive depending on uh, what you're facing. This basically just shows all of them in, in one list that you can kind of assign to. So for example, if I were to assign this to uh, pick up all items, you know, I could drop a bunch of items down here and then just use a single uh, key press to pick them all up. Uh, and you can also just remove them. And so something that I've been doing as soon as I like start a new game that really helps me out is basically uh, assigning a bunch of uh, quick slots, like kind of right away to these uh, action quick slots. And so the other type of action quick slots that we added were item specific ones. So if you control and right click, you'll get uh, this other menu of, again, <laughs> more actions, but these ones are item specific. So you'll see things like chopping and mining and butchering, uh, things like that. So uh, for instance, if we assign this to chop, we'll get uh, kind of a different icon there. And so if I hover over this, you can kind of see uh, what tool it's going to use automatically. And so right now for chopping, I don't have really much, much to chop with except for this. <laughs> stone shovel so that's basically what it's going to use and so it basically goes through your inventory and picks the best thing for chopping in this case it's that shovel if you can see here um, the shovel here because it's remarkable it has a chop level of three so that's kind of what it's going to pick and so what I do generally is just assign these all to different different things so like one for mining one for butchering one for starting fire one for stoking fire one for harvesting um, you know, I might change these up as, as I play through the game, but I generally just like to throw in a couple there to begin with. Makes the starting of the game a lot easier because you're not always uh, re-quick slotting stuff. It's basically just going to pick the best things in your inventory all automatically without you having to reorder anything. So I can go around and hit one on trees, hit two on rocks. Can't butcher anything right now, but uh, you know I could start a fire if I craft something. I think I need a couple other things for that. I can make a hand drill now. So with four, I don't have to look at my hand drill at all. I can just press four, start a fire like that. Next one is stoke fire. So again, I don't have to, you know, look through my inventory and like right click on these leaves and hit stoke fire, you know, I can not even worry about that and just basically click five. And it'll automatically use all the best items for that. One exclusion from that is protected items. So if I protected these leaves, say these were like amazing leaves, which are not, but if I wanted to protect those, I could do that. So you can see here, it's, it's not gonna use those leaves because they're protected. So that's pretty much it with the quick slots that I wanted to go over. Uh, just kind of like a helpful quick thing to get started. Uh, I did want to go over a couple other questions that I've gotten uh, asked recently. So I thought I'd just kind of address. Uh, one thing is crafting. One, one helpful thing that I found is to open your uh, options here and keep sort active. 
if you want to click that. You can actually um, go through the, the other options too and, and click it there, but uh, I'm just using this quick options here. Uh, so what this is going to do is basically keep however you have your inventory sorted uh, as you pick up new items. So one thing that's really useful for crafting is uh, choosing this sort by best for crafting option. And so what that's going to do is it's going to constantly, uh, with this keep sort active, it's going to constantly update this to, to put it the best items at the very beginning of your inventory. So when you go to craft something, it's always going to try to choose the best things in your inventory, which will help you make uh, better crafts early on in the game. So you can uh, hopefully get some better items uh, in terms of durability right from the beginning. Another question that I get kind of all the time is related to reputation and basically what uh, this reputation means. It's not exactly explained anywhere in depth, uh, but it's basically uh, the game's difficulty. And so when, when players see a negative number right off, right off the get-go, they might be a little bit worried, but it's, it's generally not too big of a deal unless you're dipping way, way into the negatives. So right now I'm at, you know, negative 455 and just for context, this goes down to, you know, negative 64,000. So generally speaking, you don't really need to worry about it uh, at the very beginning. It's not going to make the game uh, super hard right off the, right off the get go. It's kind of a more gradual thing. Uh, if, if you are finding the game difficult, that's probably just most <laughs> likely due to the game being difficult and not because you have like a negative a thousand reputation. It, it's not that uh, it's not that punishing, although the game in general is a bit punishing. So it's you, you don't you don't have to blame the reputation. But having said that, uh, you can always try to fix your reputation by doing uh, certain things. Uh, you know, if I chop down trees, you can see that it's dropping. But uh, for instance, if I go tame this goat here with some leaves, offer it to him, you can see that it uh, decreases. So there's there's a bunch of things that you can do. One is taming, obviously. Another one is uh, planting uh, seeds and stuff like that. Another one is fishing. Uh, and there's a couple other more uh, later game kind of things that you can kind of do to manage your reputation. But again, it's it's you generally don't have to worry about it at the very beginning. I would I would just be concerned when it starts dipping into around that 8,000 mark. And if you are finding the game kind of uh, more challenging or more difficult, I think probably the best tip I can give uh, for for early on is basically just creating armor. If you're Seeing things like giant rats and giant spiders, and they're doing a lot of damage to you, uh, armor is your best uh, defense. Uh, it's kind of a <laughs> makes sense, right? Uh, to make armor, right at the beginning, I would probably just su suggest to make bark armor, and it's as easy as just uh, uh, felling a couple trees. So I'll do that right now, just to kind of show you. I'm just using bear trees if I can find them, uh, just because I don't uh, want to pick up all the leaves and stuff that I don't need. Most of bark armor is just uh, stripping, stripping down these logs. So now I have a ton of these bark. I'll actually break some of them down as well, so I can create a string. So now that I have a couple string, you can see that I have these bark uh, armor pieces. So go ahead, go ahead and make those and equip them. Break down some of these branches too. My legs. Actually, I started with the animal skull too. Uh, so if I make a hammer, that's some headgear out of the way as well. Looks like I need a couple more trees. Uh, 
shale. Go ahead and break that. Grab myself a hammer so I can make that animal skull into a skull cap. Ooh, superior. See, because I'm using that uh, keep sword active, it's basically trying to use my best ingredients. Go ahead and drop all these guys. Don't need all those right now. Didn't actually mean to make that suture. So there's my shield. So I got the whole set now. So that uh, set my defense to a base of five, which is more than enough generally for giant rats and giant spiders and stuff like that that uh, start to show up at around negative 2,000. So I got I got a little bit ways to go before I start uh, getting some baddies, but I should be protected if if I do. One thing that I won't be protected against though is poison. And so that's generally an issue for early game as well. The easiest way to deal with poison is to craft medicinal water. And to do that, the easiest way is to grab roots. And the easiest way to grab roots is through uh, these little saplings or seedlings. If I go ahead and uh, gather from those, I'm gonna get some plant roots out of them. So these over here. If I have two of them, I can craft medicinal water. So go find another little one. So I got two of those. Oh, speaking of giant rat, let's see, let's see if I can take them on right now. So at the very beginning, your uh, fighting skills aren't going to be too great. But no, if I make myself a stone axe here, I should should be able to dispatch the rat here. Yeah. So <laughs> not not too difficult. Uh, you didn't even have <laughs> have a chance to. Uh, get a hit off on me, but go ahead and use my butcher quick slot, chop him up. Uh, so before that rat uh, showed up, I was actually going to make uh, some medicinal water just in case I run into a spider. So I'm going to start the fire. I'm actually going to purify this uh, water that I started with. Over this fire. Oh, and I just noticed that um, uh, I must have used a plant root somewhere. So let's go find another one. There we go. So now you can see uh, here I can make medicinal water. So I'll, I'll do that. So now I'm protected against poison. If I if I find a giant spider, I can go ahead and just drink this uh, if I'm poisoned. And that should fix it right up. So these were just a couple uh, quick tips that I wanted to uh, let players know about. And, you know, this is just some of the ways that you can go about uh, uh, playing Wayward. Obviously, there's tons of different strategies, and this is just, you know, uh, some of the some of the best strategies, I guess. Uh, maybe not best, but um, some of the easier strategies. Uh, there's things that I didn't go over, like uh, throwing and traps and you know instead of uh killing that uh giant rat i you know i could have just as easily tamed him i have some cotton seeds that i could have fed him you know there's there's many there's many ways to skin a cat or skin a giant rat in this case but uh yeah so that's it for this one uh maybe maybe part three sometime anyways let me know any other questions you guys have see ya